So in case you have in mind uh, to change your uh, auto bed leveling sensor from the blue one to the uh, orange one, uh, then in this video I'm going to show you how you can do it properly. In order to change it, first uh, move the extruder to the left side of the printer and uh, uh, then uh, remove this cover here and the ribbon cable and uh, uh, the cable of the sensor on extruder and there are two bolts here uh, you should unscrew them and totally remove the uh, sensor uh, from the, this black block here and soon uh, we are going to show you how you can uh, assemble and mount the orange uh, sensor You just mount it and uh, the distance, the, the, ref, the distance, the roughly distance bit, uh, from the, uh, the block to the edge of this uh, orange part has to be around uh, 20, uh, 25.5. So you can use ruler uh, to make sure that 25.5 millimeters. So. All right, and then uh, you just <coughs> make sure it's tight enough uh, on this, and then I'd say uh, just to the cable from these two boats here. And I still keep the extruder on the left of the printer, so then you can reassemble it. It's just very easy. I don't think it takes more than five minutes to uh, disassemble, reassemble, and uh, level the uh, print bed. Another bolt here. Another bolt here. Just screw it back and then you put back the sensor cable inside and then e motor and don't forget the ribbon cable <coughs> and you, you turn on the printer you turn on the printer And uh, you use your hand uh, to uh, spin the Z, Z lead screw and uh, find the proper distance, which is this almost as thick as a A4 paper. And you can move the extruder all over print bed to make sure you have the same distance. And uh, for this sensor, for the orange sensor, uh, it is same as the, the common one, the usual one, as thick as an A4 paper and then you just have to make it tight 
on the extrusion mount. So this is how it works. You have to you have to spin it to the left first. You have to spin it to the left first, and the light uh, goes off. And then you rotate it to the right side again. And as soon as you get the light on, that's the that's the best uh, uh, time to just leave the sensor, and uh, uh, the sensor gets its sensitivity and uh, uh, you don't have to spin it anymore so for w what you do first is uh, lose the sensor after you find, uh, you find the best distance between the nozzle and the prince bed then spin it to the left and make it lose a little bit and the light goes off and then uh, spin it to the right, rotate it to the right slowly and as soon as you can get the light uh, on that which is the best and then you can uh, tighten, uh, make it tighten on the, uh, on the disc plug and extruder.